Prince Andrew facing worrying moment as scoop film is released, Duke cannot escape this interview. As streaming behemoth Netflix releases a film based on the event, royal analyst and historian Rafe Hadel Manku claims Prince Andrew cannot escape his historic BBC Newsnight interview with Emily Maitlis. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any news about the British monarchy. Given his continued association with Jeffrey Epstein, the Duke of York is currently dealing with his most recent worrying moment, as a result of the release of the film Scoop, which describes the BBC's attempts to obtain an interview with the monarch. Gillian Anderson's Maitlis claimed that she left Netflix very much to do their own thing, saying that the last thing they wanted was her poking her head around and offering her opinion. Speaking with GB News, Hadel Manku declared that the 2019 interview was the worst PR disaster since the Duke of Windsor gave Adolf Hitler a Nazi salute in 1937. Hadel Manku went on to say that Prince Andrew's advisor Amanda Thirsk made a very foolish decision in advising him to give the interview, and that it will go down in the annals of history as one of the worst decisions ever. While Emily Maitlis became an international star as a result of the interview, Hadel Manku pointed out in conversation with host Dawn Neesom that it also broke Prince Andrew. Hadel Manku stated to GB News, this strange incident may be relived by anyone with a Netflix subscription, and it basically narrates how they acquired the interview, the events leading up to it, and the interview itself. However, it skips over the ongoing fallout, which is still evident today. Hadel Manku lauded Rufus Sewell for his superb job as the Duke of York and Gillian Anderson for her very convincing role as Maitlis. She also applauded the movie's very slick production. The royal analyst went on to point out the main distinction between Scoop and The Crown as well as the effort taken by the movie to include a disclaimer in the title to let people know that it is a dramatized retelling of facts. He clarified, saying, the film makes clear that it is a dramatization inspired by actual life events, a crucial caveat that the Crown neglected to include in front of its episodes despite its historical mistakes and imaginative flourishes. That's really nice, then. And it's based on the book Scoop, written by Sam McAllister, who was the producer who secured the interview with Prince Andrew. On the day the Netflix movie debuted, Prince Andrew was also observed, which host Dawn Neesom claimed indicated the Duke believes this most recent event isn't going to touch him. In response, Hale Manku said, I believe Prince Andrew will be really concerned at this time. It goes without saying that he is eager to turn his life around, so hearing these reminders all the time is not helpful. He's a really happy man. He wants to avoid giving the impression that he's being depressed by everything. I assume that this is his method of stating that I'm still carrying out my own responsibilities. I'm just biding my time and conducting business as usual. Hale Manku conceded that there may be some truth to that in response to the question of whether it stems from stupidity, arrogance, or a dangerous mix of the both. He went on, you might think that I couldn't possibly comment, but there is a degree to which I'm living in a bubble, being interviewed by one of the bigwigs at the BBC, and being somewhat out of touch. They could have chosen someone who was a lot easier to work with, but they didn't want to appear to be dodging the difficult inquiries. But regrettably, he received very little information. In a moment from Scoop, Princess Beatrice informs Prince Andrew that the criticism of his association with convicted sex offender Jeffrey Epstein is a lot worse than he realizes. In the recently released picture, Charity Wakefield plays the Princess of York, while Rufus Sewell plays Prince Andrew. In the scene, Prince Andrew and Princess Beatrice meet with booker Sam McAllister and BBC presenter Emily Maitlis to discuss the interview. The lead-up to the Duke of York's final interview with the BBC's Newsnight programme served as the inspiration for Scoop. McAllister asks the King if he is aware of the criticism that his acquaintance with Epstein has received on social media. In reference to Andrew's standing, she states, 
Randy Andy. Andy's Air Miles. This is about money, private islands, jets, and sex. With respect, the public see these stories and they think yep, I can believe that. After stating that he doesn't pay attention to social media, Andrew is interrupted by Beatrice, who informs her father, I do. It's a lot worse than what she just said, Beatrice continues. After his terrible 2019 interview with Newsnight, Prince Andrew withdrew from all public engagements. The recently published scoop scrutinizes Andrew and Epstein's friendship under new light. He, Epstein, was released in July, within months by December of 2010, you went to stay with him at his New York mansion, why? Maitlis questioned in the 2019 interview. Why did you choose to live with a sex offender who has been convicted? Andrew retorted, well, I've always wondered why I went, what I was doing, and if it was the correct thing to do ever since this happened and it became, in a sense, public knowledge that I was there. Now, the only reason I went there was to tell him that it was improper for us to be seen together because he had been found guilty.